Sorry? Yeah, you know, I just let my feet breathe a little bit. Um, we asked you about the turnovers a little bit the other day. Uh, just talking with Dan about it again earlier, too. Have you, not just from the last game, but just sort of in general, is there a, a common theme that you found as to maybe why some of these things happen just on your end? And what do you do to sort of, you know, yeah, pass that? Um, you know, you always look at it every week. You look at it. What, what can you do better? And, um, you know, and I think for the most part this year, I, I had a tough game last week with, with in that regard. But for the most part, I've been taking care of the ball and um, just need to put an emphasis on it and uh, just be a little bit more focused on it and uh, take care of it. When Dan says that they put an emphasis on pocket awareness and, and improving that, what what does that look like on, on the practice field? It's just stepping up a little bit. I think in the last, again, like I for the most of the season, I've done a good job of it, developed maybe a bad habit. Um, in the New England game and just sliding back a little bit and um, just need to step up, help those guys out, be up in the pocket a little bit more. And um, those tackles jobs are hard enough. And when I get too deep, you know, we have a, we have a yard mark. And when I'm past that, it's on me. So uh, just make sure I'm within that and, and just do my job that way. You spoke about not getting too high or too low. You know, you started off high in the season. You got a lot of, a lot of put up early on the last couple of games. It's been tough. How do you how do you move past this? We're, yeah, we're one in five, man. It's uh, we we have no point of this season have we been too high or or, or whatnot. Uh, we just gotta find a way to get a win and um, be the same guy I am every day. I think to answer your question, just try to be the same guy and uh, you know show up, do my job, come to work and and, and be ready to play. And um, you know specifically in my part, uh, the last two weeks I, I wasn't at my best and need to find a way to be at my best and continue that through the rest of the season. What do you do to make sure you stay? even keel, I guess, you know, in, in high pressure situations, whether it's late in game, close game, you know, against good defenses, big game, magnitude of the game, whatever it is. How do you make sure that you sort of stay that same guy? I, I just tell who I am. I, I've never had an issue with it. Um, I've just always kind of been that way. And it's, it's, you know, maybe it's genetics, maybe it's just how I grew up. I don't know. I've just, I've, I've had a good ability to just be the same guy consistently. And um, at times it's hard, right? Like in adversity, it's hard, but um, you know, that's when your true character shows, like I spoke about, and uh, it, it, it's no different for me. To get DeAndre Swift back this week, if, if he indeed does play, what would that do for you for this offense? Yeah, it'd be huge. It'd be huge. I know he's, he's, he's fighting through it and uh, trying to get himself ready to go, but yeah, it'd be huge. He's a great player and uh, somebody we'd use. Do, do you go back and look at like at the first four games just to see what you were doing there to, for the offense to work the way it worked? Do you ever do that, go back and look at what was going good? I don't know if I need to look at it. I know we know. Yeah, like it's it's just pure execution. Um and I and I think it's it's our whole offense, you know, it's eliminating mental mistakes. It's it's being on time. It's like I spoke about me stepping up in the pocket, um doing my job and uh everyone else doing their job and I think it's a, it's a cumulative effort to to get back to where we want to be. Those times that you don't step in the, up in the pocket, what is it? Just a I think it happened twice last week and it was the uh, uh it was just, it's a bad habit. It's just like a, yeah, I think it, it maybe did, it happened in New England. Maybe I had to get out, and in some cases I didn't have to get out. And um, I, I, don't, I think in the Dallas game, I probably didn't have to get out, and I probably got out tw two, two more times than I should have. So that habit wasn't something that you did then early in your career and you got out of it? And if so, how no, it's just, a, it's like anything else. It's like uh, you rep it, you practice it. It's, it's if, I'm, if I'm inaccurate, I'm going to practice accuracy. If I'm, uh, you know, if I'm slow, I'm going to run and try to get faster. And it's the same for every other position. It's something that, um, you know, I didn't do successfully last week, so I practiced it, and I should do it successfully this week. I guess I just meant it wasn't something that you used to do early in your career that you got over. No, no, it's always it's always something. Um, yeah, no, it's a, it, it's it's like a when I when I think about when I was uh, back in LA and. Um, you know, those tackles are constantly talking to you like, hey, man, like once you get past that spot, you're on your own. And I think as you get I think as you get older, as you get older, you're like, you know, OK, I'll be on my own and see how it goes. And, and no, that's not the right mentality to have. Like, <laughs> Move up in the pocket and and again, not to make light of it, but yeah, move up in the pocket and do my job. And again, I don't I don't see it as uh, something that I'll continue to do. Is it, is it eight, ten years? What is it, your mark? Uh, it depends on the play. Depends on the play. Okay. Yeah. Going back to the, the Seattle game, you guys put up 45 points, and the, kind of the tone of the offense coming into the game. Your tone was, we didn't do enough. Um, I mean, it seems kind of ridiculous in hindsight, but when, when you look at the whole totality of the season, one and five, 
how much do you put on your shoulders when you look at the record? All of it, yeah, you always do. I think, uh, you know, I can only uh, control what I can control and I have to focus on that. But at the same time, you know, it's my job to win games and to lead our team to wins and to lead our offense to points. And, um, you know, in some cases we let our offense to points but not wins and it's not, not enough. And, you know, I've been, on, I've been on teams where it's been both ways where, you know, it's high scoring affairs at all times and you have to score more than the other team. And I've been on teams where it's, you know, control the ball and win by three points. And, and so whatever it may be, do your job. and get the W is, is most important. Sheila Ham spoke today just for a couple minutes to us, just basically expressing like her confidence in the leadership here and um, you know, kind of knowing that, hey, this was a big rebuild, but we still like where the things are headed. Um, just from a player standpoint, what's your level of confidence in the leadership that's still? Yeah, I'm very confident. I think I appreciate when she's able to speak in front of you guys like that. It takes a lot of, you know, from her, but, uh, you know, very confident. Uh, we've got the right guys in place and uh, I just need to execute. I know it's redundant. I know I've said it every week, but um, if we execute what we do in practice on Sundays, we will typically have good results. And um, we have at times this year. We have certainly at times done it right and executed. And our leadership has been as as good as we want it to be. And um, and then there's times we haven't executed. So uh, it's just it's about doing it on Sunday. Jared, what about that Dolphins secondary? What kind of problems can they create? Yeah, they're good. They're, I know they're a little banged up right now, but. Um, obviously, Xavier Howard's as good as it gets in this league, and being aware of him, and um, yeah, all those guys can play, man. I think you know they got some young young players, but they can fly around and a lot of energy. You see that on film, and um, are, are constantly looking for the ball. I don't know if um, been in situations like this before. It looked like last week, you know, maybe Xavier wasn't targeted on purpose. They're trying to throw the other way. Do you ever? How do you sort of manage that? Right when there's one really good cornerback, you, you don't want to. Yeah, get it, it totally depends. It, it's, it totally depends. Um, there's some weeks where you where you will like like you said kind of just go the other way, and there's some weeks where you you won't, and it, it totally depends. He's a great corner, um, and we'll have a game plan for him. But uh, yeah, it, it totally depends on the down and distance, the play, and um, how you feel about what you got going on. Thanks, guys. All right, guys.